Hello, and thanks for joining us from our studios in Tel Aviv. I'm Denise Wood, here with ILTV's Morning Briefing from Israel. European soccer star Cristiano Ronaldo is one of Israel's favorite players, and he's facing backlash on social media for appearing in an Israeli ad. Ronaldo is featured in an ad for the Israeli cable company Hot, where Israeli comedians debate if he's faster than Hot's internet. The soccer star posted about the ad on Twitter, which was met with mixed reactions. His tweet got over 6,000 likes, but anti-Israel supporters are blasting Ronaldo for supporting Israel. Many pro-Palestinian Twitter users responded with the hashtag #FreePalestine, and others say they'll stop supporting him since he was in the ad. Tensions are rising again between the Israeli Defense Forces and Palestinian rock throwers. The IDF says a Palestinian rock thrower was killed in yesterday's clashes near the village of Al Arub. The army says the incident began when a group of Palestinians began violently protesting by throwing rocks and Maldove cocktails at Israeli traffic. The IDF says it fired warning shots into the air and then fired at the protesters' legs when the violence continued to escalate. A 16-year-old rock thrower was killed in the clash, and Palestinian media claims he was shot in the chest. The IDF is refuting the media's claim and says the teen was shot in the lower extremities and was taken by paramedics to a hospital in Hebron before succumbing to his wounds. A new Israeli medical technology is giving hope to patients with damaged bone marrow. The technology was developed by the Israeli company Pluristem Therapeutics and research professor Rafael Godetsky. The technology is actually a procedure that fixes damaged bone marrow by injecting it with placental cells. The method has shown dramatic results in laboratory mice, and the US FDA has approved the company to begin clinical testing on humans. Professor Gordetsky says his research shows that the injections dramatically improved bone marrow cells. This is just the latest medical venture for Pluristem Therapeutics, which is a leading developer of placentia-based cell therapy products. Israel and India are closing on a $3 billion arms deal. Israel will be supplying India with missile defense systems, guided bombs, and anti-tank weaponry. The deal will secure Israel as India's third largest military supplier. India also says that developing ties with Israel is one of its main diplomatic priorities, and relations between the two countries have flourished in recent months. That's all for now. I'm Denise Wood, and see you later with our main daily broadcast from Israel at 2 p.m. Eastern Time.